for four, our third night. Uh, next up, we have a very exciting live act, which is uh, The Good Shadow, and uh, he will be accompanied by his own personal VJ, Michael Killalia. So um, let me just twiddle some knobs and we can uh, get that happening. Thank you all for coming to Vitalize. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
of an electric light was given in Sydney was on the 11th of June 1863. Knowledge of a new light spread quickly. The government used it to light the general post office, the wharves at Circular Quay, and the lighthouse at South Head. The 8th July 1904 was the date chosen for the official switching on of the undertaking's supply system. At 5 p.m. the switch was turned on. The steam set the engine and generators in motion. Sydney then was powered by electricity. The White Bay Power Station in Roselle commenced construction in 1913 and was fully operational from 1917, but there were further phases of development completing in 1948, which saw the station expand even further. White Bay was the longest serving of Sydney's Metropolitan Power Stations and ceased production on Christmas Day in 1983. The earliest plant comprised of three 20 Hz turbo alternators with a continuous rating of 8.7 megawatts. 
at the power station's peak quiet bay power station generated 186 megawatts. If everyone could respect our heritage listed iconic building and bring some love and electricity back to our quiet bay power station. It has been 38 years since Quiet Bay Power Station's door closed. It is time we turned the lights back on.
It powers my machines.